Alrighty, well, good morning everybody. Um, I am currently on my lunch break right now, so I don't have a whole lot of time, so I gotta keep this short, but I was streaming. I was checking out the uh, Twitch forums here, and um, and I found a pretty interesting uh, title here, streaming not so popular games and the mentality behind it, um, by a guy named, I'll just call him Lekoman, or Leko for short. But uh, this is something I like to do from time to time. Something that I haven't done in a very long time. So I felt like I was kind of overdue. Uh, again, streaming not so popular games and the mentality behind it. I guess my uh, quick capsule answer is going gonna, is gonna to be because I don't like to follow the hurt. Because, um, yeah, I'm not... Because I'll see a lot... Like on my, um, on my channel, on my channel page, it'll show all the people that I follow. And all the games they play, and yeah, it'll it'll say like World of Warcraft, World of Warcraft, World of Warcraft, like like what kind of he, what he said towards the bottom there, WoW Classic. I see that a lot now. Like the guys that I follow, it'll say World of Warcraft, 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 all the way down. So, and and, and to be honest, yeah, I was I was gonna stream it, but part of the problem is is one, it's it, it's, I'm already, I've already played, I've already got, uh, three different games, or I should say two and a half, the third one, the third game that I'm playing is called Beatbox, um, I'm trying my hand at making 8-bit music, so you, you, you call it a game if you want, but, but, you know, but I'm already, I've already got too much stuff on my plate to play WoW Classic, but yeah, it, this is, uh, it's also one of the reasons why I tend to stream, I like to play the not as popular games, just, because I myself would like to see something different. Maybe somebody else would too. But like I usually do, I'll just go down, um, provided I have the time. I'm just going to go down, look at everybody else's posts and comment on them. Um, by, in doing this, I'm not trying to call anybody out or make, make fun of anybody or anything like that. It's just I get a lot of inspiration looking at other people's posts. And it also helps me for my own answers. So That being said... Yep. And he's already he's already on his way to becoming, at least in my eyes, a good streamer. Don't just play Fortnite and PUBG Battlegrounds with every, like everybody else does. Try doing something that nobody else has done. <clears throat> I'm drinking Arizona tea, by the way. I can. Now, now to be fair, if there's a game out there that no one, that nobody ever, 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 ever goes on, then I'd probably understand. But uh, nearly every game I stream, I always get at least one person swinging by. I've never had a game where it was always zero all the time. So, people who like you enough, they're going to drop by and visit you no matter what game you play. And um, in kind of an offshoot of this, again, I haven't I haven't read the rest of this, but uh, WoW Classic just came out, but there's anywhere between 350 to 500 thousand people checking it out, and I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be one of them. Just again, I don't like following the herd. Um, I've said this in my other, in my other videos, but to me, streaming is a lot like fishing. I mean, yeah. I mean, those walleye and largemouth bass over there are biting. Man, they're good catches and they're good, they're good eating too and everything. And they're, they're not that hard. They're not that hard either. You can throw any kind of bait in there. Pluck it down. Pluck it down. Oh, got a bite almost, almost immediately. But on the downside, everybody, their dog is going to be in that fishing spot too. I mean, they're all going to go where the walleye are. You know, so... 
I think it's called fishing pressure. You know, it. by the time you get there, by the time you get to the spot after everybody else has gotten there, the fish are already wary as hell. I mean, they ain't coming out, they ain't, you know, they ain't gonna, they ain't biting your hook or anything. You know, so, to me, streaming is kind of this, or here, let, let, me, let me continue on. It's been a while since I said this, but it's an analogy I had a long time ago. But, uh, but then there, there's that. I mean, good fish, good spot, good fishing, but on the downside, everybody's gonna be over there now. On the flip side, you know, we got yucky fish, you know, they don't bite, they're real picky, you know, they might, might be a, a 20 pound fish, you know, a 20 pound fish over there, a snap your line, hard as hell to, hard as hell to, you know, hard as hell to get in your boat, you know, that kind of thing. No one's got to, you know, so nobody's going to want to go to that one. So, so then there, there's your option B right there. Just go over there and, you know, nobody else is going to be there. If you, you know, if you have the tenacity to stick it out, you know, go down there and just grind away until you get something. I mean, no, it's going to be, you know, the fish ain't going to be easy to catch, but on the upside, nobody else is going to be there to do it. Or nobody else is going to be there. You got the whole place to yourself. Um... As kind of a side note, from the uh, few times that I actually went to bars and dance clubs back in my 20s and 30s, I kind of saw the same thing. You know, smoking hot babes are up dancing on the table. Yeah, ah, ah, ah. you know, hot as hell. And, but on the downside, all, all these men are just swarming around. Ah, you know, too much, way too much competition over there for that one hot chick. But yet, there's this, uh, you know, kind of pudgy girl over here, you know, kind of a wallflower, you know, you know, I mean, I'll bet, you know, nobody's gunning for her, nobody's giving her the time of day, I mean, if given, if I had to choose, I'm going for that pudgy girl over there, I mean, as long as she's not too hard on the eyes or anything, you know, but I'm going for her, nobody else is after her, you can only imagine how, uh, how nice, warm, and friendly, and caring she's going to be, nobody give, nobody talks to her, Whereas this girl up here, damn, hot babe, dancing on the tables, she can pick and choose. She got a whole metric ton of options there. So, and so, <clears throat> kind of going out way off on a tangent. Sorry about this, but it basically streaming is like fishing. It, it's, I I will try not to repeat myself. Plus, time's running out. I'm on my lunch break, so. Well, Classic just came out, but obviously, unless you're a big streamer. Like I said, fishing analogy. Um, How do you keep consistently streaming for smaller games when some high-quality, fresh hype games come out? You just answered your question. You keep... Let me highlight it. You just simply keep streaming smaller games. That you that's the answer right there. Just keep on doing it. Uh, the mentality behind those people that put out let us say Monster Hunter. Well, same thing I said at the start of the start of this video here. I don't follow the herd. I mean, that's a sheeple. That's a sheeple mentality. <laughs> you know, everybody just everybody's going there because everybody else is going there. So. Been researching a lot of Twitch streamers and the way they got big came to a conclusion that the only way to grow a you girl pro, pro player is to know life one game and then similar genre game um and I think I think that all it's also down to what do you want out of streaming I mean, are you are you hoping to is your one and only goal to like make a full-time job out of this to get donations bits cheers whatever the hell they are are you trying to are you trying to get income out of this 
Are you, are you trying? Are you going solely for the viewer count? If that's the case, then yeah, you're pretty much gonna have to go where the money is. You know, you're you're gonna have to go the pop route. But uh, ah, uh, for me, I play what I enjoy. But one thing I've never had happen to me is I've never had zero players that I've never had a single game where I had zero player zero viewers all the time every time I've never had that I've always even if I mean I even if it's just one person that drops by hey how's it going fine thanks well welcome to stream okay I gotta go bye see you Pew, off they go even if it's that that to me counts but I've never had a I've never had a totally deserted stream just based solely on the game I'm playing Bingo! I said that earlier, too. The game isn't as important as the person streaming. Um, I kind of have my own little quirks on this, but I... For the sake of time, I won't bring them up right now. I'll go into the depths of random-ass games I've never watched before. Yep, yep. I've had viewers like this, too. And I said it before, I'll say it again, if... If people like you enough, they'll visit you no matter what game you're playing. I mean, granted, they may not stay long. Like if they don't like the, if they don't like the game you're playing, they're probably not going to be around that long. But that doesn't that doesn't stop them from dropping by anyway. Bingo! You said this too. There's I'm not the only. I mean, I'm a human being. It, actually, you know, I gotta quote Bill Hicks on this. I'm a human being too, just like everybody else. You know, you know. I mean, my own belief, my own beliefs, are are often shared by other people out there too. I mean, we're all human beings. I'm not a stream bot, and you're not a view bot. You know, so. I mean, if, I mean, I, you know, if I like making eight bit music, there's other people out there that like that enjoy listening to eight bit music. They're out there. So there's a market, for lack of a better word, for everybody. Bingo. Yeah, I kind of. Yeah, I kind of chuckled. I chuckled a little bit inside when I read that, too. Oh, and, um, sorry for the, sorry for the bright light, for the bright white light. Um, I, ba I basically stream and uh, do these videos sitting on the floor right in front of my TV screen. I do this in my living room. I don't do this in the bedroom or anything. Um, because it's weird, weird as it might sound, I'm actually more comfortable sitting on the floor that I am sitting on a on a dinky little office chair. It, um, it hurts my butt and my lower back after a while. So this here is a lot more comfortable. So because of that, you're gonna be seeing me uh, come, bathed in a white in white light a lot. And um, I th think I am in dark mode. Oh, there we go. I thought, okay. Duh. I thought it was a night mode. There, that that should uh, that should be easier on everybody's eyes now. But going back to what I was saying, unless you are a girl, yeah, I kind of I chuckled a little bit inside when I read that too. I mean, I've seen that before. <clears throat> I mean, it's, especially when they when they pull that damsel in distress crap. Like, it's my first time ever playing this game. Help me! Help me! Help me! type crap and you go on there and she like it it's like the girl's never played a video game in her life like you I mean you just know she's doing it just to get viewers in there I mean, sometimes I just want to type down you're almost there honey all you need now is a boob job or something like that to see if it sets them off but yep same, he said the same thing too
Um, okay, I'm, I'm going to have to skim. Probably just read the first sentence on everything. I'm um, having fun playing the game. There is... Um, he might have also been referring to boob streamers too, or, or otherwise attractive streamers that they they play the part of the dits, just to get men on her channel, just to get those views. So, he probably didn't mean it like that. By being you an attractive product. Um, uh, uh. That's a yucky word right there, product. Again, if that's what you're going for, like if you're going solely for income, just trying to get trying to get a solicit donations and whatnot, then yeah, but I stream because I enjoy it. I, it's, it's a great outlet for me. Um, in real life, I don't talk much at work. I don't really talk to hardly anybody else. Um, I'll talk to my mom, maybe one of my other family members once in a while, but otherwise I'm not a real... I'm not a real chatty social person in real life, so streaming is just perfect for me. But yeah, I mean, at the same time, I don't, I don't like just for the longest time. I used to just live my life just, just totally shut in, silent, just watch TV stuff like that, just not, you know. But after a while, I just started going nuts, not being able to talk to anybody. So, so streaming is like a perfect balance. But that's why I do it. Yep. 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 Get a point, Giddy. I guess the, the short version of all this, uh, I'm a quality over quantity kind of streamer. I would rather have one good friend that sticks with me to the end. It's, you know, great conversationalist, great talk, great to talk to, great, you know, you know, somebody that's not a douchebag, you know. I would I would take one of those than like a hundred fair weather friends. You know, they, they come on your stream, hi, oh, gotta go, bye. You know, they disappear for whatever reason. You know, but that that that's my philosophy on it. But um, it looks like, well, it looks like that's it for the thread. But, but otherwise, yeah, it's getting me about a uh, go time for me. I'm going to have to head back to work. So, um, hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and thanks for watching.